happy whole and healthy people would not be on the internet defending racist brands and companies what is happening is wrong It's an even bigger problem if any company in our country in 2020 is releasing and promoting racist ideologies in an era of massive social movement that is so powerful, yet people choose to take such a risk. We the people will not tolerate discrimination like this. We will not sit down and be quiet. If something is wrong, you will not get away with it. It's the audacity for me to sit there and to tell us how to feel and how to react. That this is just a stupid mistake. That, my friend, is called a privilege. You do not have to understand because to us, this is just one of the many experiences of being African. The experiences that we enjoy daily. So when we call out a racist ad, a racist company telling you how we feel, even if it doesn't make sense to you in that moment, be quiet and listen with an empathetic ear, an open heart and an open mind. Because I bet you, we are not lying. We are not making this up and certainly not because we have nothing better to do. I don't have to be wearing out my natural hair for you to approve of what I have to say. It was just so funny to see adults, grown adults, use that old um, rebuttal and come back that I'm wearing a weave or I'm wearing a wig. It's tired and it makes you look stupid. Do you not understand black women where we come from and why we got to wearing weaves? to fit into a society that never accepted us in the first place as people that never accepted us as who we are, that never accepted our hair as normal. That's why. So to continue to make a living in a corporate environment, in schools, in institutions that label our hair type as uncivilized and untidy for the workplace, we have had to assimilate this whole weave comeback it's really just tired all women wear some type of weave ponytail wig hair extension and it's not always about length sometimes it serves as a protective style sometimes we desire a certain color without the chemicals without the damage sometimes it's um, for highlights and things like that and one thing I can guarantee you, there is no black woman that wakes up in the morning, no black girl that wakes up and goes, today I want white hair because it's perfect, because it's silky. No, we do not aspire to have white hair. Even in the market, it's considered low grade as compared to the likes of Brazilian, Peruvian. So for you to make that assumption, 